Hello children, today we are going to learn the unit of fraction. I have one apple, I have to share half of the apple to my sister. So here half means equal in one whole part, that is half of the equal. The whole is divided into two equal parts, that is two half parts is equal to one whole part. So, fraction means part of a whole. One Purna Vastuvina Vivida Bhaga Galana Navu fraction Atva Binna Rashyanta Karitivi. Example, one orange. So, one orange, two equal parts. That is of two parts. That is one by two. In one part, three equal parts, that is one by three. Here, one is whole part, two of equal part is one by two, three equal part is one by three. Another examples, in one watermelon, we can divide it eight equal parts. One is a whole part, it is divided into eight equal parts. It is 1 out of 8 part. It is written as 1 by 8. In a circle, 5 equal parts are there. In a first picture, 1 part is colored. So, it is 1 out of 5. I do bhaga galali now 1 do bhaga ke color anna maadi divi. So, adhana now 1, I do rally 1 do bhaga ke color maadi divi. Adhana bario riti 1 by 5. In a second picture, two parts are colored. It represented as 2 by 5. In a third picture, three parts are colored out of 5. That is 3 by 5. In a fourth one, four parts are colored in out of 5. That is 4 by 5. So let us in fractions 1 by 2. 1 by 4, 1 by 8, 3 by 5, 2 by 5, etc. In a fraction, consists of two numbers written one above the other, separated by a line. The number above the line is called numerator and the number below the line is called as denominator. In 3 by 4, Above the line number 3 is a numerator. Below the line number is denominator. Here 3 is a numerator. Here 4 is a denominator. In the next example 1 by 2. Here 1 is numerator. 2 is denominator. The next example 2 by 8. Here 2 is numerator. 8 is denominator. The next example 4 by 6. 4 is a numerator. 6 is a denominator. I hope all of you understood which one is numerator and which one is denominator. It is the continuation of exercise 5.1 of the unit 5 fraction. First question. Which of the following figures have been divided into parts of the same size? Here four pictures is there. In these four, we have, we have choose which picture are divided equal in size. Picture A divided into four parts. But it's not equally. And picture B divided 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And all the 8 parts are equally. 
and the picture C also divided two equal part and D is divided two parts but it's not divided equally so compared to all these pictures B and C these two pictures divided equally in same size so B and C is the answer second one draw a line or a lines to divide each of these figures into the required number of equal part for this figure we have to draw a line to make this figure has a two equal part so in the chitra koti dare avare two parts anta koti dare so ee chitra ke naavu ondu line anna elibeku aa line hege irbekappa antandre ee chitra vanna eradu ಭಾಗಗಳಾಗಿ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಟೂ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸೊ ನಾವು ಡ್ರಾ ಎ ಲೈನ್ ಹಾರಿಸಾಂಟಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಲೈನ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಿಗರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಎ ಟೂ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ second one it's a rectangular picture this rectangular picture we have to draw a lines to make this picture as a four equal parts now we have to draw a lines we have to draw a lines one is horizontally now it's getting two equal part and another one line vertically now it's getting a four equal parts third one for this picture we have to make a six equal parts so now how many lines we have to draw for this picture to make a six equal parts first line first one line two equal parts second line four equal parts now third line so we have to draw three lines to make this figure as a six equal parts fourth one this is the english letter e now we have to draw the lines to make this letter as a eight equal parts so now how many lines we have to draw so now we have to draw seven small lines to make this figure has a eight equal parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 seven lines and eight equal parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight third one question write each of the following as a fraction first one off so how can we represent in a fraction so this is a small circle we have to draw a line to make this circle has a two equal part so now the circle has two equal part so half of the circle we have to color so in a two parts one part will shaded that means half of the circle is shaded so how can we represent in a number number of shaded part in a numerator so number of shaded parts by total number of equal 
equal part. Here, number of shaded parts. So here one part is shaded. That means in numerator we have to write shaded parts. One, total number of equal parts. For this figure, there is a two equal parts. That means one by two. So of, so of we can represent in number as one by two. Second one, two third. Two third na hege bariyodu. So I have given one example. So example, there is a picture. So in this picture, there is a three equal parts. But there is a two parts are shaded. So here, number of shaded parts. Divided by total number of equal parts. That is, number of shaded part is 2. And total number of equal part is 1, 2, 3. That means 2 by 3 to 3rd. As well as say, Two ten. We have to write two in a numerator and ten in a denominator. That is two ten. Fourth one five seven. Five in a numerator seven in a denominator five seven. Five sixteen. Five in a numerator by sixteenth in a denominator five sixteen. 5 twelfth, 5 in numerator, 12 in denominator, that is 5 twelfth. 8 ninth, 8 in a numerator, 9th in a denominator, that is 8 by 9. 8 one, 4 ninth, 4 in a numerator, 9 in a denominator, that is 4 ninth. 3 fourth, 3 in a numerator, 4 in a denominator. 3 by 4, 2 fifth, 2 in numerator and 5 in denominator. That is 2 fifth. Fourth one, write each of the fraction in words. They are given in a fraction numbers. We have to write in our words. First one, 2 by 5. That is 2 fifth. Seven by ten. Seven tenth. Eleven by twelve. Two by three. Two third. Four by five, that means four fifth. Five by eight. Three by seven. Three seventh. Five by six. Five sixth, seven by nine, seven ninth, thank you, children.